Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is March the 30th, 2022. DraftKings. Yeah, you might want to buy DraftKings at this particular price because I'm going to show you from the price chart that the market is actually getting a little bit more bullish than it is getting weak. Welcome to the channel. This is HFN, also known as Houston News. This is what I do. I do price predicts without the confusion. Today's your first time seeing my video, my content, and you end up liking what I do, then come on board and join the team. Yeah, hit the like button, share the video, and also subscribe to the channel. Tap the bell notification as well because I want to teach everyone who's interested that you can actually do this for yourself and learn how the market really works without the complexities, without being too analytical, without doing too much research as to how these markets really work in price action. So check this out. I did a video in DraftKings, right? Not long ago, right here on March the 11th. One thing about me is I show you when I get my price prediction correct, and then I also show you when I get them wrong. And in this particular situation, uh, it all depends because not long after I did my video in DraftKings, which was on March the 12th, the market only had two days that we saw the market actually give us some gains. Now you have to go back and listen to what I was talking about on March the 12th, right? You had to go back and listen because I'm not sure if I gave us a price target around $15 because the market in DraftKings right there on the 15th of March came all the way down to $14.97. And that was it. Going forward, price in DraftKings has gone up. So if you wasn't able to grab that off the market around $15, which is seven and a quarter percent, and you were to get out on the trade last trade of yesterday, you're down 28. This is why I give you all price targets because I want us to at least profit as the market continues to go our direction. Because if you didn't grab it two days into me doing this price prediction, yeah, you missed out. All right. So if you missed out, there's always more opportunities. And this may be it. Because when I zoom out of this price chart, I want to ask you all the question because I want to know where DraftKings is trading at now. Is this the opportunity to come in and buy the market? What do you think? I want you all to look at this. This is the daily time frame, right? What really has been going on into the market in DraftKings? Has, have we really seen the price dump in DraftKings? Have we really seen the market go up in DraftKings? No, we haven't. This market, for the most part, I would say following mid-January, has just been trading sideways. Wow. Take a look at this. One thing I tell all of my subscribers is that you need to pay attention to the volume, right? Look at this volume spike right there on this day, the 26th of January. Well, what about this one? On 18th of February. And then what about on the 23rd? Something is going on. And if the overall market was really selling DraftKings, right? If the market really had no interest of trading at $20, the market would be trading around $10, $12 right now. If these individuals, these institutions who created all of this volume, if they really was trying to dump their positions, then the market in DraftKings would be trading a lot lower today. Now, another thing I wanted to show you in regards to is DraftKings a buy at this particular price, which is around $20, okay? Let me zoom out and show you this. So this has been the trend into the market in DraftKings. We're going all the way back since like December, beginning of 2020, okay? So this chart is only two years old, but I wanna ask you all the question, are we now back bullish into the market in DraftKings. The market price is now trading above the trend. That is massively bullish, right? When you look at the chart, the prime opportunity back in 2020 to buy DraftKings was here, right? And you could have saw monumental gains as the price in DraftKings just completely took off. We are now back in that same position considering we are keeping price above the trend right now. So is this the buying opportunity for DraftKings? From my perspective, yes. And this is the reason. One, price is now trading above the trend, meaning that we are still in online 
to continue to let this market go up in price. Two, the price of DraftKings stock is cheaper. DraftKings hasn't changed. Only the value of the stock has changed. The same stock that individuals bought when DraftKings was trading around $64, that same stock is now worth $20. So yeah, it's cheaper. So not only is it cheaper, it is also in line with the trend. That's just that simple. So now, given that that's the case, given that we've seen mostly buying go on into the market in DraftKings, we need to be bullish. I'm just keeping it real. This is one thing about me. I'm not biased on any stock. I play the strength. I play the weakness. As long as we can make money from it. That's the team I'm playing for. And right now, it looks as if the buyers are trying to come into this space in DraftKings. You can see it on a three-day time frame. You can also see it here on the five-day. All this volume and market is not really falling. They see the same type of information that we're looking at right now. They look at the volume. They look at prices and how prices reacting to these areas. So now we're going to play some strength on this video for DraftKings. Now, am I saying that we're going to shoot back up to 60, 70 dollars? No, I'm not saying that because we got some other areas that we need to contend with that the buyers need to overcome from the sellers. OK. So now, let's go ahead and switch this back over to the daily time frame. And we're going to play the strength into the market. Now, we got some areas that we can focus in on as to where the buyers, I mean, I'm sorry, not the buyers, the sellers are going to come in and try to dump their shares again in the market in DraftKings. Yeah, they already showed us their hand back here in the background. So what we need to do is simply pay attention. Okay. Now, the first area that we can see the market in DraftKings kind of get hit with some sellers to see the sellers stand up. It's going to be like right here. Okay. This is the first area. $22. Okay. Yeah. You might need to take some profitability around 22. That would give us six and a half percent. Hey, that's one thing that I tell everybody is that you simply get what the market is offering to you. If they're only offering us six and a half percent, hey, we take it. The second price target is going to be up here. Twenty four. Now, I think we got enough juice to try to hit twenty four, but only under the auspices that sellers really stand up at twenty two. That's the first price target. OK. And that's about it so far. OK, if we're able to really continue to strengthen to the market in DraftKings, I could see 25. OK. But let me bring that back to 24. And that's it. The price chart actually lets you know what the market is feeling. I don't think people realize that the price chart tells you what the people think. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know with a comment in the comment section. All right, I'm done. Make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.